this video is part of our Lego series and in this video we'll explore that practical subtraction leading to that more formal recording of calculations. Um, again, all you need is a whiteboard, a whiteboard pen and a Lego plate with assorted pieces. Now in this one I'm actually going to give Aaron some calculations on the Lego board and he is going to solve them and record them. You can challenge your child a little bit more but we will look at that in further videos. So all you need, all I have done here as you can see is just to make a subtraction sign and an equal sign out of Lego and I've also put on the numbers that I want him to think about. So I have actually provided him with the number sentence um, and I'm going to ask him to solve it. Now we're going to basically use the idea of the bumps on the Lego as our numbers. So Aaron, I have given you a number sentence. I'm going to actually be able to put it up there so you can see it. Okay, so what is this number sentence and can you write it down? So we're going to go straight from practical into the formal recording here. Eight minus... Mm -hmm. How are you going to make it? Okay. How did you know to go straight for that block? Because if you eight, 4 add 4 equals 8 means 8 take away 4 equals 4. Good, and it's great to see using that inverse operation, I deliberately stuck two small fours on there so that Aaron could see that correlation of taking actually physically one of those fours away. So do you think, Aaron, that you could write, you could record that number sentence on your board? Yeah. Okay, right, off you go. So allowing them to actually see that on top of each other so they've got the practical, they've done the practical side of it and using that to actually record the number sentence on a whiteboard Oh, you're going to use a, a drawing, are you? Yeah. Okay, so Aaron's chosen to represent it pictorially. That's absolutely fine. You can then move from that into the written method of actually using numbers. And actually, you can even ask your child to, you can encourage your child to do that. Oh my goodness, you're even drawing the minus sign. Excellent. Okay, just do your equal signs as normal because it'll take ages to draw, wouldn't it? Yeah. How much round's it going to be? So I'm going to ask Aaron to take that one step further into the use of numbers as well because that's what we really want to get out of this. Do you think you can write it in numbers as well for me? Okay. Now that you've drawn it in a picture for me. Excellent. So as you can see, he's recorded it practically, he's recorded it pictorially, and he's also recorded it using the numbers and the symbols. So a really good way of actually just using all those different resources. Now, Aaron, I'm going to give you a different one. And again, as I said, for the purposes of this video, I'm actually going to provide them. We will do further videos where actually the children are making their own calculations. So this time, Aaron, I'm going to do this for you and you have to find the answer. Okay. You ready? I rub that one off for you while you're working on this one so you've got a nice clean board to work on, okay? Right, off you go. Have a wee look, see what you've got this time to solve. So I have twelve. How did you know you had twelve? Again. So if you use six and a six uh -huh. and I know that six plus six equals 12. What do you call that when you have two numbers the same? A double. Good, excellent. So really encouraging all that mathematical language and all that mathematical thinking to actually come out into the conversation. Okay, so, so you've got 12. Minus 6 equals... Can you think of another word for minus? Subtract. Subtract, good boy, excellent, very good. Can you think of another way? Hmm. Have you ever heard of take away? Yeah, take yeah, away. Yeah. Okay, so do you think you can find your answer in your Lego yeah. bricks? <laughs> How did you know to go for a six straight away? So I know that six adds 
6 equals 12. So 12 take away 6 must be 6. Excellent. Really good. Do you think you can record that now? Yeah. Excellent, good boy. So as you can see, really focusing on using those inverses, really thinking of using those number facts and those number bonds in the addition side and relating it to the subtraction and you really don't you, you can ask for more that's a really really nice connection that the child is making so really would do i really would encourage that if they are getting to that stage if they're not don't worry they will get there okay so we're going to draw a picture this time again okay that's fine so you've got 12 minus or take away or subtract and again focusing on all that different language We've even got the equal sign drawn in the symbols this time. We've only got three dots on that one. Is that enough? No, thank goodness for that. Okay, so can you use your numbers now to help you to write that again? So again, moving from the practical to the pictorial to the actual formal use of numbers. And that's what you do really want to encourage and it's great if your child can use different ways of recording because it just shows that they have a really good understanding. Okay, lovely. Do you want to try one last one? Okay. Are you ready? Right, this one's going to have a bigger number this time, okay? Hmm, let me see. Okay, so you have a wee look at that and I'll rub that one out for you. <clears throat> Is it 12? No. You have to double check, don't you? So 12 and another 4 equals 16. So 16 minus 4. No, is that four? Have a wee look and see. You need to double check. So it is important that you're getting your child to double check their calculations. Oh, and you went straight for an eight. How did you do that? Why did you do that? You didn't even have to think about it. Because? By giving them the double here, you want them to see that correlation, that connection. Because I know that for... Plus four equals sixteen. Four plus mean? four equals sixteen, does it? I mean eight plus eight <laughs> equals sixteen. Thank goodness. And that means sixteen. Sixteen minus eight equals eight. Good, very good. And do you think you've recorded mm. this time instead of drawing pictures? Do you think you could just do it straight into numbers? Well, I draw a picture after I done the number. Mm -hmm. Do you so think you can just do the numbers this time? Over. I just saw that. Hmm. What are you writing? Sixteen minus eight. Equals eight. Fair and can it. I do the like the picture? Yeah, you could do the picture as well. So as you can see, it's just a really lovely resource. It's easy, it's nice and fun, and it's practical, and children actually enjoy using it.